So I'm going to shoot a quick video here. Um, kind of a kind of a complaint, kind of a review, kind of I don't know. This truck I've had um, I've had this truck for about five months now. Um, this F-150, and uh, my last truck was a Silverado, but I was kind of intrigued by the by the um, EcoBoost in these things. Had driven one and was pretty impressed with the power and the torque. And I haven't had a Ford in a while, so I decided to to go this route. And overall, I've, I like the truck. I'm happy with it. There's a few things that I that I kind of miss about my Chevy. Um, you know, silly little things like I really like the step bumpers that they put in the Chevys now, and just little stuff like that. But overall, I really like this truck. But I got this one complaint, <clears throat> and I don't know if anybody else has experienced this. But if you look at my truck, obviously I live on a gravel road, so it's dirty all the time. And it's March now, so we're you know, we got the, the spring thaw going on, the frost is coming out of the ground, so the roads are a mess. And <clears throat> if you look at this, I actually just, uh, a couple days ago, I ran a couple hours down through a rainstorm, and uh, it was actually pretty clean, but this is what happens when you come home. But my complaint is these running boards. <clears throat> these are just the standard uh, XLT running boards. That, I don't know, I guess it's pretty much a factory option, I think, or dealers around here putting on all these trucks. And as you can see down here, the mud just piles up on these running boards. It's worse right where the cross member, the braces, where they actually hang off the truck. But you can see that they actually, it does it clear back here too along this door. And it's so bad that when you open these doors, I don't know if you can hear that, but it actually rubs. And you can see the flat spot in the mud there where the door actually rubs on that. And look at this. There's so much mud that accumulates on there that when you shut the door, you actually scoop up a bit. And you can see it, so you can tell how thick that was. And um, when I first got this thing last fall, I got it in September, and, I, and it, I started to kind of see this happen. So I thought, well, I need to put some mud flaps on here. Well, I put mud flaps on, and that didn't help anything. It still does it. So, you know, I don't really care if, it's, if the mud piles up, but it does really irritate me that my doors rub. And all four doors right now, if you open the doors, they're all going to rub. And, you know, thankfully this thing's all aluminum, so it's not going to rust. If it was a steel truck, you know, all that paint would come off the bottom of the doors, and those doors would be rusted out in a year. So, um, you know, I guess it's, I guess it's not going to really hurt anything, but it really is kind of annoying. And I even had, um, once this winter, the slush, the slush builds up on this thing too. So I had a situation where I was, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever. I drove work in the morning and, and uh, I had, had to open the door to get something out and I go to shut the door and when I opened the door, I realized as I opened it that it had rubbed really hard and basically that slush had formed a big little iceberg right there on the running board and I was afraid to shut the door because I was afraid I'd bend the door up because there was so much ice, but what am I going to do? So I just let her fly and thankfully it didn't hurt anything, but um, I don't know. It's just maybe it's kind of petty, but it's really annoys me. And I, I, I think it's, you know, my Silverado. I'd get mud on the, on the running boards too, but it never would get to the point where the doors rub. So I think um, it's a combination of one. I think these running boards. I, th I know these running boards are narrower, so I think more mud actually gets up there. And I don't know if they sit closer to the body and than my other truck did or what. But anyway, just just a little complaint. I don't know if anybody else has run into this, but. It really kind of annoys me, and I would think that, uh, you know, anybody who runs on gravel roads or, you know, goes off-road a lot or anything like that probably runs into the same thing, and it'd be nice if Ford could do something to tweak that. I would, you know, I wouldn't think they'd be too hard to adjust that to not have that problem occur, but anyway, just kind of my little rant tonight about, uh, about my truck. I guess if I go to the car wash every once in a while, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but... <laughs> By the time I get home, it's going to happen again, so I hate dumping money into the car wash. But anyway, that's all for now. Thanks, guys. Bye.